Hey everyone! Today I will give you a quick walkthrough of the NICE Engine Frame Views Portal. So we will take a look at the menu options and also the different possibilities for your interactive desktop sessions. Afterwards we will also check out how to get the best connection performance for your DCV desktop sessions. And therefore we will compare um, TCP versus quick UDP protocol connections. Okay, so we start at the engine frame intro page and from here we will now enter the views portal. Now we are asked to provide username and password for login and here it's just important to know that this is actually a single sign-on. So you just have to enter your credentials once and then you can access, exit and re-access all your interactive desktop sessions without having to enter your data again. Also, this authentication can be integrated with other common enterprise authentication systems. So, for example, like LDAP or Active Directory. Okay, so now we will provide our data here and log in. And now we can see the um, engine frame views interface. So on the left hand side we do have the menu with the monitor um, section. Under sessions we can see the status of all our interactive desktop sessions. So right now it is empty because we haven't created an interactive session yet. And under host we can see also the status of all our host nodes. Under services, we can see here the two available um, services for creating interactive desktop sessions. So now here we can select between a Linux desktop or a Windows desktop. Now when we um, click on the Linux desktop service, an interactive Linux desktop session is created for us. And here we use the DCV session manager for uh, managing and distributing the sessions of all users across our host nodes. So um, this actually means that you do not have to care about the requirements of your sessions or the load of the host nodes itself. So the DCV session manager does this for you. Also, if you prefer to use any other um, scheduler, um, then this can also be integrated in Engine Frame as well. So now after that this um, desktop session is created, we can see the session here in the sessions overview. And um, so here we do have this um, clickable thumbnail. My settings here allow that um, we can now actually see the real content of the desktop itself. But if your company policy does not allow this, then this also can be turned off. So for connecting to our interactive desktop session, I just have to click onto the thumbnail. And now here another browser window is opened and now I am already connected to my Linux desktop session over here. So if you prefer to not connect via the browser, but you rather want to use the native um, DCV client on your machine, then you can actually just adapt the settings over here. And now you can change this setting from browser to desktop client. And now the next time you will click on the thumbnail, the session will actually open in the native client. Okay, so the last feature I want to show you here is that the thumbnail is actually not only clickable, but also provides its own menu. So this we can see over here. And now we can see that we um, can not only um, connect or close the session, but we can also share the session with other users. So if I go to share, then I can see that I can either create collaborators or viewers. And as soon as I start to enter a name in this field, then I can see that a dropdown is actually um, populated from which I can then select the users for which I want to create viewers or collaborators access to my session. So we have seen the functionalities of the Engine Frame Views Portal for managing, accessing and sharing the interactive desktop sessions. 
Now we will take a closer look at the performance of our nice DCV desktop sessions under extreme boundary conditions. And we will compare how the streaming performs with TCP protocol connection versus quick UDP protocol connection. Okay, so let's check it out. So what we can see here now is um, two DCV desktop sessions to which we um, connected using the DCV native client. And on the left hand side, we do have the DCV connection using the TCP protocol. And on the right hand side, we are connected to the same interactive desktop session, but here we are using the quick UDP protocol. And of course, so this is also showcasing again how great um, Nice TCV can also be used for collaboration and sharing um, interactive desktop sessions, because also with these two connections now I'm connected to the same session. So as an example application, I have opened up Blender and I just opened one of the Blender example files. So as I mentioned, we want to show the performance under extreme boundary conditions and for doing that, the server where our um, desktop session is located is running overseas. So this means we do have a really high latency here, which is over 100 milliseconds. And now, for example, when we zoom in or we zoom out, then we can see all the time that the TCP connection on the left-hand side is actually lagging behind the quick UDP connection. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video and the showcasing of the different connection settings. Any questions or feedback, please put them into the comment section below. And yeah, so thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.